I am Sally Jo Michelson Cooper. Welcome to the edge of my mind. Let's jump off. I decided for this video I would do a little introduction to the idea of herb and do a better explanation of what the conversations with herb videos are going to be about. All of my conversation with herb videos are going to be accounts of real dreams that I have had. Um, some of them won't be recent. I've been diarying my dreams forever, and if I have a dream where there are explicit details or details about an individual person, individual place, I may adapt them to protect the guilty. Um, but that's what my conversation with Herb videos are going to be about. Now, who or what is Herb? Well, in the simplest definition, this is Herb. Um, he's not my only representation of Herb, but probably the best. This sculpture was originally a piece of a quite large sculpture that I made at SIUE. And when he was originally created, he was on top of a large cliff, and he was holding an olive branch, and he was presenting it to a bunch of stickmen with meme faces who were utterly panicking and jumping off that cliff. And what Herb, in this iteration specifically, was an iteration of for me was what I had been told my choices made me. And when I say that, I don't necessarily mean by any particular person, but by generalized culture and by the culture that was heavily pushed at me and I was told was correct by specific people. Um, that the only reason I could choose the actions I had chosen was because I must be a hideous, gluttonous, capitalist, straight white male. And because that was happening in me, it must be because of internalized misogyny. Not my years of experience at work, not my traveling to multiple countries. No, no. Um, definitely just internalized misogyny. That's, that's what caused me to have the wrong opinions. Not my personal experience, not my independent nature, not my kind of weird upbringing comparatively to my peers. Nope definitely my internalized misogyny. So I thought about that and I thought, you know, even so, even were I purely and only that, would there be no empathy for my humanity? And so I give you Herb, the pencil pusher, the guy who gets everything done, the person who takes it and deals with it, and copes, probably one of many who keep the lights on and keep the world turning. And uh, originally he was holding an olive branch, but I made it so he could hold a variety of objects. And if any part of me wouldn't quite listen to the dreams or wouldn't quite be taking account of the dreams, it would be Herb. It would be that quiet part of me that really knows how to make money and put my nose to the grindstone and get out of everybody's way and get things done. But Herb's not holding quite as prominent a position now, so some of these other parts of myself are coming out. And so I'm going to do these little videos on my dreams, and maybe somewhere somebody can compare them with one of their dreams and think, hmm, well, maybe I am this mad, but... I'm not the only person that's this mad. And maybe it'll help somebody. I don't know. Maybe it's just fun for me. So, today I'm going to read about my potato dream. I dreamed I was in our East Alfalfa pasture, but the structure of the ground was wrong. No one was there. It was completely empty. The soil had been freshly turned. And out there, in the middle of the prairie, going up a hill, 
I was pushing a shopping cart with potatoes and artichokes in it. I was pushing them up and up a muddy, steep hill. As I was climbing it, the ground started to change from the dirt that I knew is in our alfalfa pasture to a very specific type of slimy dirt that out home we call gumbo. And it was deeper and deeper, and I was sliding and falling, and it was hard. But eventually, pushing the potatoes and artichokes in the shopping cart, I made it to the top. But just as I made it to the top, I flipped the cart. And then it was like I was two people. I was myself, one of them at the top, and I was myself again. And I was going down the hill with the cart, trying to push the potatoes and artichokes back in. And it started rolling and it spilled again. And as it spilled again, and as I was trying to push back the potatoes and artichokes into the cart, now there were also tennis shoes. And I was trying to push them all into the cart, but also there was the me at the top of the hill. And the me at the top of the hill, that me that was suddenly the only me, suddenly heard foot pads coming up the other side of the hill. And in my mind, I thought it was a wolf. I was right under the crest of the hill. I lied back stiff in the mud. And I thought about it deeply, and I thought, I have no chance. I have no chance but to spook it. So I took a deep breath, and I pulled myself up as big as I could be, as quickly as I could, and I shouted at the top of my lungs. And as I yelled, I realized it was a dream, and I found I had left up, and I had shouted at the person in bed with me. I hope you enjoyed my story. I'll keep sharing pieces of my dreams from time to time. Have a great day.